Hi, I'm Johan Magnusson with Alfresco Grills, and I'm here to share with you today about how to fire up your Alfresco grill. Now remember, this is a high performance, professional level grill, so there are a few details to keep in mind when using your Alfresco. I'm excited to share some tips and tricks to help make your grilling experience great. So let's get started. Always keep your face and body as far away from the grill as possible when lighting it. Turn all the knobs to off and then turn on the gas supply. Adjustable valves are labeled off, max and min and the non-adjustables are labeled off and on. You wanna lift the hood, depress the igniter button and for the burner you're trying to light, immediately push and turn the corresponding burner control knob 90 degrees counterclockwise to max for the U-burners and smoker or on for the sear zone. Wait for the burner to light and adjust the temperature by turning the knob from max to min by turning counterclockwise. The first burner might take longer to light while air is purged from the gas supply system. And if the burner does not light within four seconds, turn the knobs to off and wait uh, about five minutes to allow any accumulated gas to dissipate before trying again. Preheating the grill is important for best performance as well as to protect the infrared burners from food drippings. For the U-burners, close the hood after lighting the burners and set the grill control knobs on max for up to 15 minutes. Remember, the Alfresco grill can get extremely hot, so for delicate foods, it may not be necessary to preheat as long. For the infrared burners, allow preheat for four minutes before beginning to grill. If your grill is equipped with the sear zone burner, light and preheat the U-burners first and then the sear zone. Remember too that the briquettes and the grill retain radiant heat. So your grill gets too hot, it will take some time for it to cool down to the temperature that you're looking for. Grilling requires high heat for searing and proper browning. So most foods are uh, cooked at the high heat setting for the entire cooking time. However, when grilling large pieces of meat or poultry, it might be necessary to turn the heat to a lower setting after the initial browning. This method will cook the food through without burning the outside. Food cooked for a long time or basted with a sugary marinade may also need a lower heat setting. The longer the preheat period, the hotter the grates will be, and this will help the meat brown faster and create much darker sear marks. So place the food on the grill and cook to the desired brown level. Adjust heat settings if necessary, and remember, do not leave the grill unattended while cooking. Some important things to remember are that thinner cuts of food should be cooked at a high heat setting, but thicker cuts of meat and more delicate food might require a medium or perhaps even a low setting for even cooking. Sometimes using two temperature zones, high heat on one side and lower heat on the other side and moving the food in between may help getting the perfect cook. And when it comes to really big cuts such as roast, setting up the grill for indirect cooking can allow it to be used like a convection oven and to create that perfect roast. Make sure your alfresco grill is completely cool when you begin the cleaning process, wiping the grates with a soft, damp, soapy cloth and rinsing with warm or hot water. If your grill is particularly messy, perhaps with oil or grease, then use a multi-purpose cream cleanser and apply with a soft, damp cloth. Then rinse with water. If you're dealing with stubborn dirt or burnt on grease, you can use a nylon scouring pad together with the cream cleanser. Never use wire wool pads unless they're made of stainless steel and never use harsh abrasives, scouring materials, wire brushes, scrapers or contaminated scouring pads. Also make sure that you wipe along the grain direction of the stainless steel and the grates rather than across it. 
and if needed, dry with a soft towel after cleaning. I hope all these details really help you get up to speed quickly with using your Alfresco luxury grill. I'm Johan Magnussen for Alfresco Open Air Culinary Systems. Happy grilling.